Hey, let's talk about some Dead by Daylight settings to get you the best performance and visibility. Right now, it looks like you're running things at ultra quality with 1440p resolution, which is great for how the game looks. But if you want to boost your performance and make it easier to see everything, you might want to try lowering the quality to low. It makes things like scratch marks and survivors much easier to spot. Also, remember to turn off VSync to reduce input lag, which is super important for hitting skill checks and reacting quickly. Setting your FPS limit to 120 or matching your monitor's refresh rate is a good way to get smooth gameplay. And if you want more screen visibility, try lowering the UI and HUD scale a bit. If you want a nicer look but still good performance, medium quality is a great compromise. And if you need a little extra FPS, turn on FSR. It helps improve performance without sacrificing too much visual quality. Experiment with these settings to find what feels best for you. We're diving into some essential Windows settings that can seriously boost your computer's performance. First, we're going to tweak your virtual memory settings to custom sizes, which can help your computer handle multiple tasks more efficiently and prevent slowdowns. Next up, we're disabling full screen optimization, which can help improve performance and reduce lag in some games by letting your game communicate directly with your graphics card. After that, we're setting the high DPI scaling override to application, which can make games and applications look clearer and prevent scaling issues. Then, we'll enable optimization for windowed games, which can improve performance and smoothness and when playing games in windowed mode. Moving on, we'll enable hardware-accelerated GPU scaling, which can reduce latency and improve performance in games and applications that use your graphics card heavily. After that, we're going to set your GPU preference to high performance for specific games, ensuring they utilize your graphics card's full potential for the best performance. And finally, we'll double check the optimization for windowed games for that specific game again, just to make sure everything is set correctly for the best seamless experience. Like and subscribe if this video helped you. Now, while these settings provide a good initial boost, if you want the ultimate performance boost and unlock your computer's full gaming potential, you need to check out the FPS Boost Premium 2025 pack. It includes advanced tools and scripts that go way beyond manual settings, giving you significantly higher FPS, reduced latency, smoother gameplay, and enhanced system stability. It optimizes your network performance, manages resources more efficiently, and applies exclusive optimizations that manual tweaks just can't achieve. Plus, it even creates a system restore point to ensure safety. Trusted by over 800 competitive gamers, this pack delivers a performance boost you've been looking for. To get the full FPS Boost Premium 2025 pack and unlock your computer's full gaming potential, click the link in the description below. All right, guys, let's jump right into it. First things first, we're going to set up a restore point. Super important for keeping your computer safe and sound with any changes. Next up, we're diving into auto runs to see what's running at startup so we can optimize performance. Then we'll head to the installed apps to remove any unnecessary programs that might be slowing things down. After that, we're going to tweak those NVIDIA profile inspector settings for the absolute best performance from your graphics card. And finally, we'll run that super helpful bloatware script to clean up your custom even more. These steps are going to get your computer running smoother than ever.
Thank you. 